Hi, I'm Jennifer Beal at my annual Summer Networking Bash. We have 1,100 people that came today throughout the day to see speakers and to network. And I'm here now with a global authority on neuroscience and connection. Dr. Amy Banks is the author of Four Ways to Click. And she's discovered that there are four neural pathways in our brain that we can activate at events like this and actually feel better in it. So uh, tell us a little bit about those four pathways and how do we get them activated? Yeah, thanks Jennifer. Um, so uh, the way that I think about the neuroscience of relationship, and that's really what we're talking about, right? People come to a networking event and they want to build connections. And a lot of the networking is going to depend on prior connections, right? So in the care program, what I really have people focus on is four primary neural pathways for connection. Um, one of so what's the first one? Tell me about the first one. Let me tell you about the first one. So in the CARE package it, program, it actually refers to C-A-R-E. C of the first one is your sense of calm that you can get when you feel safe in a trusted relationship. Um, and basically what, what that is, is it's the functioning of a something called the smart vagus nerve that uh, everybody has one of, but when we live lives that are really highly stressed, um, it has less power. The point of it is to have that when we're engaged in relationship, when you smile, when your eyebrows go up, when you hear somebody's voice, when you talk, all of that stimulates the smart vagus nerve, which feeds into your stress response system and tells you to calm down. So obviously something like that would be crucial in an event like this. So what I would do is I would actually be consciously aware of that and start making my face move more and being connected to somebody else when I'm talking with them yeah. and smiling and get it because when my face moves that starts to a release to get this going the the pathway going. Yeah, absolutely. So so that is one of the strategies, right? You go into a big room and first of all look for faces that are friendly. Mm. Right? Mm. Uh, a lot of people are nervous there. Don't start with a person that looks kind of down. Right? And I'm not saying that that person doesn't need to be br brought into the fold, but if you start there, it's more apt to make you anxious. So if you see somebody that's got a more animated face, start with them. And one of the things I, I have people do is actually, rather than going in talking, slide into a conversation and listen for a little bit. Because when you listen, the, those little uh, muscles in your inner ear actually activate and that uh, stimulates your smart vagus nerve and you can feel a sense of calmness as well. Okay. So the first one is C for calm. What's A? A is for a sense of acceptedness um, and that refers to this pathway, the anterior cingulate gyrus and it's called, um, it's a social pain pathway and what researchers have found is that when we are excluded to come to an event and you just stand like a wallflower over the side and have the experience of being excluded, that causes the same activation of this alarm system in your brain uh, that being in physical pain does. So to the human being, being socially excluded and being in physical pain is registered the same way. It's very stressful. So what do we do when we're here and we're feeling like we're being excluded from the conversations that are going on? The first thing is to really question that, okay? Because I think one of the things that gets going in a society that really is built around power is that we go in, out into relationship and we assume, a lot of us assume that people are judging us and that they are judging us in the uh, negative. And in fact, we judge ourselves, right? So one of the things is give yourself a little pep talk before you go out there and, th and know that in this room full of 1,100 people, there are gonna be folks that you resonate with, that you connect with, that you're gonna feel accepted by. And so look for those people. Look for those people, okay. yeah. So, okay, so the next one you said is, um, there's C, A, and what's R? R is a sense of resonance, and what the resonance it refers to is your ability to read other people's feelings, uh, emotions, and actions, right? And that happens through a system called the mirror neuron system, so that when you and I are engaged in, a, in uh, an interaction, I partly understand you because I'm mimicking you in my own mind, so there's not, it's not just I'm thinking about what you might be thinking, I kind of know what you're thinking, right? So one of the things, when you're in an event like this, it's hard to really f focus in on any one person sometimes because you feel stressed. 
right? And stress will kind of block that. But to know that your body has, uh, literally has a mechanism for you to read other people. And that if you can, you know, maybe take a few deep breaths, you know, get yourself sort of settled down, move into a conversation, and really open yourself up to that resonance. What are you feeling from this other person? What is their face showing you? What are you reading, right? And allow yourself to be held in that, right? In that knowledge, that real wisdom that your body just has innately. So we got the C, we got the A, we got the R. What's the E? The E is my favorite one, which is the sense of energy that you have when you're in a, in a good, healthy relationship. That comes from uh, the dopamine reward system. So this, we, we have this brilliant thing in our body, which is when you are engaged in a healthy relationship, you get a little hit of dopamine. And most people these days know dopamine it gives you a little energy, a little motivation, a little more focus and concentration. And so when you feel safe and when you're in that sort of zestful conversation, you know, or listening to somebody that really is thinking like you are or has a real novel new idea, you can literally feel the dopamine, you know, you can feel the excitement. So stick with that person. Don't leave them if you're getting that dopamine rush. That's great. Okay, great. So four ways that when you come to an event that you can connect is Dr. Amy Banks, Four Ways to Click, the C-A-R-E program. Apply it when you walk into rooms and you want to make great connections with people. Thanks so much.